the uh, 2014 model uh, electrified cookie tin banjo slash banjo tar. Um, a couple things you need to know about it. Um, you got a movable fifth string capo here. It's that nylon screw. It's got a nylon nut in the back. Uh, or, yeah, I think that's a nut. It's got holes drilled next to the fifth string. Um, you know, and you just unscrew the nut in the back, pull out the screw, which has got a little slot cut in it to hold the string, and then, uh, you know, place it where you need to. Right now it's in the normal bluegrass tuning, uh, G. And, you know, if you want to hear what it sounds like without the, uh, plug-in here. But yeah, so you, you know, if you're going to play in D or something, you might move this up to the, what is that, the, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh fret, um, and then, you know, it's more easy to play in key of D there. Uh, we've got six tuning pegs. Right now, only five of them are being used, uh, because I've got this tuned to be a five-string banjo. But we've got a wide enough neck so that if you wanted to tune it, uh, tune it like a guitar, you could put on some nylon strings or possibly electric strings. Um, you know, I'll include a, uh, a bridge with six notches instead of five. Right now I've got this uh, tuned to be bluegrass five-string banjo, so I've got just a, a bridge with five slots in it. Same thing with the end piece down here. There are six nails sticking out, but... Only five of them are being used. Um, if you want to turn it into a banjo tar, you just you know take these strings off, go get some nylon strings or uh, electric guitar strings, and uh, just put them on. Uh, when you get the thing, pay attention to which way the the strings are wound around the tuning pegs. Um, they they travel more properly to the correct slot if you put them on, you know, wrapped in the direction that I've wrapped them. Um, <clears throat> let's see. You can take the back off. Uh, I'm not going to do it right here, but if you take the back off, um, you know, you can access the piezo device if you ever wanted to, you know, for some reason pull it up and change its location on the front of the uh, the tin here it's uh, or the it's the bottom of the tin uh, but you know it's on the other side of the front of your banjo so uh, it's located right around the center here and there's a block of wood going right over it so you can't see it but you can see the blue tape pulled across there and if you ever want to move it play around with the uh, location of the pickup, uh, that's how you would do that. Uh, be aware that pulling off the back may knock it out of tune, but not terribly so. Um, and you don't want to leave the back off because the tin will warp. The back really helps it keep its shape. Um, <clears throat> anything else? The audio jack is back there. And I think that's about all you need to know.